Hey guys, it's Trey once again back with another video. And in the last video, we finished up our CRUD methods in the UI by adding our delete method. So the next thing we want to do is um, restyle the page. So if I go back to our app here, it looks kind of ugly. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't really like to use an app that looks like this. So we're going to try to make it look a little bit better. Um, and if you guys know me, you guys know that I'm not very good at styling things uh, visually. So uh, I'm going to do my best and <laughs> try to make this look less ugly. If we go back to our app here, what we're going to need to do is import a table because we're going to want to use a table to, to show our tickets instead of just having them run down the page like this all right and what um, i decided to use is a react component that i created a table react component so if you haven't seen that video you can go take a look at that video um, i'll post the link in the description and you can see how i uh, created that table um, but right now we're just going to use it so you can get the table from this react component github that I have, um, I'll put, post the link in the description. And um, once you get there, you can just, let me show you where it is before we do anything. It's in source components, table, here it goes. This is the component we need to get. So I'm just gonna clone this into my local and I'll just get the table from there, just copy it over from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, go to this code, copy it out of there, come here, we're gonna say get, clone and then you just run this hit enter um, i've already done this so i'm not going to do that i'm just going to copy it over from where i um, cloned it into so i'm just going to grab that table component and copy it over to um, my source components folder here so you can drag and drop however you need to do this i'm just going to do it from the command line because it's quicker here we go now i have the table here so this is our table that we're going to use so in order to use the table, we're going to have to go to our app.js file and we're going to have to make some updates. So if we go all the way down to where, let me close this. If we go all the way down to where we're rendering our um, component, uh, we see we have this ticket form and under here we're doing this tickets.map, whatever. So this whole ticket map thing, we're just going to erase that. We don't need it anymore. You can also get rid of this H1 with the tickets. All right. So we're still gonna use this ticket form, so don't erase that. But underneath this app, underneath this div, we're going to add another div. It's gonna have um, a class name of main table. So now we do that. And then inside of here, we're going to add an H2. It's gonna say tickets. And under there, this is where we're gonna import our table that we just brought over. So I imported the table. I'm going to scroll up and show you that I did indeed do an import here. I have auto imports on. So there it is. I've imported the table. And here we're going to want to add a couple of things to our table. So we're going to need a list and the list will be our tickets. All right. So that's just uh, the list of stuff that's going to go into the table. We're going to need some column names and I will just pass in calls here. We have not created this calls variable yet, so we will be doing that in a moment. Let's just close it out. All right. So let's go up here and create this call. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the top underneath where we just imported our table. I'm going to say const calls. And then this is going to be an array. And we're just going to pass in the um, column names, which is ID, summary, priority, status, create date. And last but not least, update date. All right, so that are all of our columns. So now we should have a table. And then the next thing we wanna do is wrap this ticket form in a div. And it'll have a class name of main form. And then I'm just gonna copy in the whole ticket form into this div. All right. Save it. All right, so I'm gonna uh, start this up by typing npm run start. That should crank up our front end again. I already have the back end running, as you can see. Let me 
Okay, so as you can see, I already have the back end running and I just started up the front end. Let's go take a look at it. So now we can see we have our table here and then we have this form here and they're two separate divs now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ticket, like the table is gonna be on this left side and then I'm gonna put the, the form on this right side. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna do that in our app.css. So underneath app here, we're gonna say, we're gonna set the width to be 100 view width. Then we're gonna say the height to be 100 of the view height. And we'll set the display to grid. And then we're gonna say grid template columns is repeat. And we'll say two, one FR. All right, and then we're going to justify the content in the center. And we're also gonna align the items in the center. All right, so now we see we have our tickets on the left and our form on the right okay the table looks kind of weird we'll fix that um but let's go ahead and do this form first because uh, i think that'll be pretty easy so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our ticket form.js we're going to go up to the top and we're going to import our css file so it'll be dot slash ticket form.css all right so that'll bring in our ticket form.css file which at the moment has nothing in it but let's go ahead and start to um, style some stuff. So as we can see here on our component, we have a, a outer div that has a style of ticket form. So we're going to go to our ticket form.css. We're going to uh, set this class called, I'm set this rule. We're going to call it a uh, ticket form. All right. And then we're going to basically here, just set the width to 100%. All right. And under here, we're going to set up that form. So if I go back to ticket form, as we see, we have this form. So we're going to go ahead and style that. So I want to say dot ticket form dot form. And inside of here, we're going to set the width to 50%. And then we'll set the display to flex, the flex direction, the column. And then we're going to add a box shadow. We're going to set, uh, let's do three pixels, six pixels, three pixels, and then we'll set it to like a gray color. And then we're gonna add a padding of one EM. And then we'll add a margin of auto. Let's see what that did. Okay, so see now we're kind of setting this up. Um, I guess we need to add a label here so we can uh, know what we're doing with that. So let's go back to app.js underneath this main form, but above the ticket form, we're going to add another H2. Uh, let's give it a class name of title. And then we're going to say modify ticket. All right. And then here we're um, up here on this one, on this tickets. So the H2, we're going to uh, give it a class name of title as well. Let's go ahead and style these titles. So I'm gonna do that in um, our index.css because I feel like I'm gonna use this more than just here. So we're gonna say title, and then we'll just set the text align to center for now. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that looks pretty decent. Once again, we gotta get back to this table, but before then I want to give each one of these inputs a little bit of room because as of right now, they're kind of just sitting directly on top of each other. Let's space those out a little bit. And the way we're going to do this is if we go back to our ticket form, you see how we have a label and an input. Each label and input is going to be one form group. So I'm going to create a div here. Above here, I'm going to give it a class name of form dash group. And I'm going to take this first label and input. I'm going to cut it, paste it inside. All right, so as you can see, now we have this form group. I'm gonna do this for the rest of the um, labels and whatever input they have. All right, so now I have stashed all of these into a form group. So now we're going to go ahead and create this class here in our ticket form.css. So I'm going to say dot 
ticket form dot form and then we'll pass in this form group so it'll be dot form group and then inside of here we want to add styles of a width of 75 percent and then we want to do a display flex flex direction will be column margin it's going to be auto and padding we'll do five pixels and zero let's see what we got now so there we go so now we gave it a little bit of spacing for each one all right and you see we have our box shadow all right just like we did on the table okay so um i guess really for the most part well let's let's style these buttons i don't really like the way these i want to set these buttons kind of like how these buttons are over here so let's go to our index.css i'm going to put it here and then we're going to do a style called button so dot button then we'll say color is going to be white background color is going to be black no border We'll give it some padding of five pix five pixels and then ten pixels. All right. And then let's add a transition for the background color. So we're gonna do background color, and then we'll do a hundred milliseconds, and we'll do ease in, and let's do a hover effect. So we'll do dot button hover and then we're going to do cursor pointer and then we're going to do the background color of dark gray and then we will add another transition matter of fact it's going to be this transition so we'll do that now we should have oh we didn't set the style on the button so let's go down here to our button right here and then we'll set a class name of button there we go now we see our button has a style on it um i guess we can change these ticket buttons to actually match this because they're not doing the same thing so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our ticket not ticket to our table .js, and add this style on to our buttons so what is button style? Let me go take a look at that. Uh, let's just get rid of this. And then we'll add a class name of button. Class name button. Let's do the same thing on this button. Do a class name button. All right. So now our buttons are matching in styles. Cool. Next thing we need to do is figure out why the table isn't stretching as far as it's supposed to. Let's scroll up and see. Oh, here we go. It looks like we are setting the width to 50%. So instead of setting it to 50%, let's set it to whatever the width is that we pass in from up here. Okay, so let's see how that looks. There we go. So now we have full length for some reason this isn't in the center i might need to go back and fix this on the actual uh table thing so let's see what we're doing here okay let's get rid of that td um we have a t foot let's try to add a t row here grab this and stick this inside of that row ah okay Okay, so I put the TD inside of a TR, uh, and then let's do a call span. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Call span. I don't know if because this is um, how many columns do we have? One. Well, I guess we could just do the length of the columns. So we could say, was it call names? Call names dot length. Let's see how that goes. No, I didn't do it um let me figure out how to do this all right i have figured it out this call span here is was not supposed to go on the row it's actually supposed to go on the td so save that and now we have centered our buttons all right so this is really 
um, all I really wanted to do was just restyle everything. So um, everything will still work except for I think the clicking doesn't work anymore. And also um, we don't have a way to delete the ticket. We need to add like a button or something to, to delete the row. So I guess we'll do that in the next video. Um, but it definitely looks a lot better than it did. Uh, still not perfect, uh, but definitely better than what it was. So next video, let's go ahead and add our deletes back and our click to display over here back. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video.